Seems like he's chosen not to make it louder. <laughs> <laughs> Do not come. Please don't. <laughs> Can't promise nothing. What a way to nope. start a show. Do not. Right? That's just harsh. As just woke up, I spilled my coffee. I just fuck. woke up too. Are you dead? Girl looks glamorous as fuck. She looks great. <laughs> I, uh, I, Mueller, I, I his think I look looking great. hot. Yeah. 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 I gotta yeah. say. You know who's not gonna come? People who watch Doctor Strange too. Oh. oh. This is true. This is true. Calm down, Nina. We haven't even done intros yet. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, and, oh, well, I mean, let's not bury the lead. There's no Toby Maguire dick shadow in Doctor Strange 2. Oh, no. no. Yeah. That's it. I'm out. I'm no. out. Yeah. This. I so, never thought I would. Is there me. even a point yeah. anymore? Not really. <laughs> you know when Campia says that? I'm kind of thinking, you're a liar, Campia. You complete and utterly expect to talk about Toby Maguire's dick throughout your career. Uh, yeah. You, I, sir, I, I, are a charlatan. Yeah, uh, I'm Shyster. sure he loved it. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but I'm sure he's like, I loved it. It was great. <laughs> I loved watching all of my favorite Marvel heroes who I've never seen on screen oh, before. Die instantly. Awesome. I wonder how many balls Randolph was like counting in the theater. Yeah. Do I, I don't know that for a fact. I just that's what I suspect. What's going to happen with Doctor Strange? I don't know that for a fact because I have not seen it. What were you going to say, Mom? That kind of attitude and that presentation just reminds me of. Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching, but the Red Light Media Star Trek videos they've been making recently, when they intercut Will Wheaton stuff. Yes. And he's just like, oh, he's like the most insufferable presenter. <laughs> Every single thing they ever do in anything yeah. is just like the most amazing choice ever. That's my Dude. favorite part of the show as well. And I'm Dude. so oh doing that. I am so going to do that. I've done it before and I'm not going to be afraid to do it because they do. <laughs> that last video last night, I was just, I was, I had my popcorn out and I was watching. Usually, yeah. like, I'll speed up sometimes a video. Uh, not yours, Mahler, but some people oh. I'll throw up a little speed. Okay. But uh, that one, no. I was just one and one watching it and just, just take I love it, it when, they were edit, when they were trying to describe the show and they just started talking over each other for and I, that went on for fit and it was still funny after like 10 minutes it was great it was five minutes i think five it's seven minutes fucking bizarre season to have watched it vicariously if you will uh that picard i don't it even is uh <laughs> it is written by somebody on coke which they heavily insinuated in that video by how many times akiva goldstein <gasps> was touching his nose Oh, oh my I haven't, God. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen this new movie. Oh, dude, you got to, for one, I watch, I, I watch all the behind the scenes. I watch the ready room after the show because I'm saving it for the review. Holy shit. It, do you think the show's dumb? <laughs> the <Yeah>. ready room's <laughs> worse. No, I do a separate video on well, dude, the that, ready um, room. That clip where Will Wheaton's like, oh, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd like to be on, uh, on lower decks, just saying. Yeah, uh, what, uh, <laughs> I like, think ICE oh. as an organization, as an American, is Gestapo. Fuck off, you little fucking dweeb. Hey, he's trying to score some points. Let him. He doesn't know what to do with his life. He's never worked a <laughs> fucking day yeah. in his life. Been a pretender all his life. Been a little, like, for one, fake geek. But, um, yeah, we'll talk about I just, I just wanted to talk about how they've reunited the TNG cast and ignored him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, well, well, I mean, look at what he's done on the ready room. I mean, they have to have eyes. I was gonna but, say he's not in it, is he? Like, nobody in cares about. It. Well, nobody. they didn't. He wasn't in the names. No, That's he wasn't. Funny. But he might. He might be in it, but he wasn't in the names when they said, "Oh, look, we're bringing like the reunion." Well, we're yeah. bringing all your favorite cast. Back, I hope so. they introduce him and his husband, and then just <laughs> he just blow him up. Every single clip I see of him, he seems so incredibly desperate. He's just like, "Have I said the right things? Have I have I made the right expression? Please let me <laughs> let they me have, be more they have a popular term. and famous." They have a term in Hollywood for that. Uh, I, it might be old, but uh, thirsty. I was oh, just boy, gonna say thirsty. that. Is it thirsty? <laughs> He's very thirsty. I'd agree with that. Yeah, so thirsty. He is parched. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the real BBC bagging. 
boarding and chatting. And yes, I've got uh, my bags, my boards. I've got some exciting. I, I've actually had a box that used to be all on my spinner rack that uh, back in the old days that I found, the San Francisco days that I'm going to start showing off because it, it had some really good comic books in it. And we're going to talk about Doctor Strange and Disney getting its ass kicked. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? We can talk about Moon, oh, Picard, Moon Knight, all that good stuff. Uh, what we're oh, not going to talk about is the comments. news. Uh, we do not d uh, forget that. I'm not even touching oh. it. I'm not going anywhere near it. Don't care. That, that thing that people are reading that. about, we're not yeah. going to talk about. Yeah, there's lots nerd of reading shit. going on. Nerd and shit. Nerd shit yeah, today. Nerd shit. Today is some nerd shit. So there. There you go. Uh, yeah, so my name is Gary Beekler. I come to you from Nerdorotic and my mom's vagina. Uh, Yay. And I was adopted. Yay. Hi, Az. Hi. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, somebody's out of practice. Uh, I haven't spoken for nearly a week. <clears throat> well, on, on stream. Well, yeah, you've, been on, you've been on Twitter like a 14-year-old girl for the last week, but it's like yeah. he became Ariel all of a sudden. Dude, right? Dude. <laughs> lost his voice. Twitter's a fun place right now. It really is. <laughs> yeah. It's a hilarious place. Uh, hi. <clears throat> <laughs> hi. Hi. How you doing? Hello. Good hi. to be good to be back on a regular show again. After a week away. This is the last show that I did, regular show that I did last week, so. Yeah, been busy boy, uh, busy boy, sorting out the house, uh, storing a lot of stuff, um, getting this, I know, getting this place sorted, and then, then when it's all done, it's not quite done, it's getting there, it's close, ladies, uh, when it does <laughs> get there, I got, I'm going to weigh some options up, going to weigh up some options, mm. so yeah. But good to be back. Good to see you, chat. Uh, I see a lot of love in the chat, so thank you, chat. So way up some options means there was a mm. big empty space in that storage facility. And, and I wouldn't How are it. we going to fill it? Because <laughs> we That's nerds, we like said. to fill holes. That's what we well, like. My, my bro was just like, collection. It's just like you've got, we've got room it's left, but he said, you know, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought we'd completely over, you know, booked a big storage unit. And then he said, "What else? You know, is there anything else of size that's coming?" And I'm like, "Um, oh, hey, well, hello, a, hello. <laughs> there's a eighty-nine one in six Batwing. Uh, there's a Batman v Superman Batwing. <laughs> Batman v Superman Batcave computer. There's a nineteen sixty-six one in six Batmobile. There's a nineteen ninety-five Batman Forever one in six Batmobile." There's a one in six snow speeder. There's a one in six. <laughs> you, okay, so moving to Texas is now uh, uh, you have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now you, yeah. you need like a big McMansion for all your stuff. Yeah, you do. I don't you like you like the money that I would spend on a house in the UK in Texas. I'd get a mansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here, I get a shitty little <laughs> terrace house. A lot of places in America you get up. Well, that's what I had. Well, that's like living yeah. in Vancouver, too. In Vancouver, that's mm -hmm. what you would get. Like a tiny little shack. Like, Ooh, <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> it's really so, yeah, it's it's nice to... Um, I, I didn't realize I had floors. <laughs> you just... Uh, well, They're that, gone. Neither does Ryan, but at least you had toys and not... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had <laughs> no, to, yeah. No, no, no. Four pizza and Mountain Dew. <laughs> Warm Mountain Dew. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy. So, so like, like last night, like everything's echoing. <laughs> like my front room is echoing when I, we're oh, talking. Like my bedroom last night because that's shit. been the toy Himalayas is my bedroom. I've been. I, I wasn't joking. I literally had plastic tubs of toys on my bed as I was sleeping, taking over <laughs> half my bed. You can write off your toys as soundproofing for your studio. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> So it was it was just crazy because I was like I was just like walking with bare feet in, on my laminate floor in the bedroom and it's just like echo 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 echo. Hey, but I bought this um this, this is so fucking old man, but don't worry about it. Uh I bought this uh this um microfiber uh duvet set. 
Holy How shit. How was it? How was oh it? Oh my good? god, you got to get one. It is I just like really the good. materials just like the craziest like softest, nicest. Oh my god. I'm never going back market. to cotton I'm again. I'm in the market for a new duvet, so maybe I'll get microfiber. One. I will. I'm gonna. As you're, a, you're a weirdo. Having many dolls is not normal. <laughs> I know, and I fucking love it. <laughs> At least it's not sex dolls. Yeah. Well, well we oh, that's, part yet. that's part four. <laughs> right. That's part four. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good. It's nice to have a house back. I feel like if Toy Story was like actually a real thing, as his house would be like the center of where they all meet. Oh, like it's like their UN. <laughs> I'm thinking more. I'd just, small be, I'd just be a hostage. Like... That's all. That I'd have rows of stormtroopers just by the door, just like <laughs> keeping me, keep me. Uh... Okay, I'm not moving. I'm not moving, guys. Whoa. <clears throat> yeah, I can't. I, I, like, yeah, no more Batmobiles. No, no, I can't. Because I'd have to start like going into uh, other people's rooms, uh, <laughs> and I, I actually need room for people to come into this office. <laughs> so, Where's Spider Man? The giant. He's, uh, uh, he is right there. Oh, oh there he is. Hi, whoa! Oh, wow! He's like a <laughs> is creeper. He stopping comics division from coming out of his yeah. hole. <laughs> It's, it's like 90 scary. degrees. Well, no, it's how is it? How hot is it? Oh, it's only eight. It's only 75 right now, but it's 90 in there, and he's probably gonna die. How, how old uh, is comics? Five foot seven, did he say? Uh, he's uh four foot uh one. Okay, yeah. so uh because my, oh, wow. my bro is like no, uh, five, this five. is my bro from another mo. This is this is my sister's <laughs> partner, but he's my bro, and uh he's five eight, and we were standing stood next to each other at one point, and I was just like Dude, he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm so much taller than you. <laughs> as cruel as I know, so I know, he's meant to be cruel. It was meant to be oh. cruel. It's like, wow. Uh, and then I thought, short. wait a minute, he's five, and he was like, yeah, I'm only five eight. And I was like, wait a minute, isn't comics five seven? Mm -hmm. so that's even smaller. An X-ray girl. Six I was gonna eight. say, guess what? I'm taller yeah. than all of you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She is. She's the tallest Asian girl ever. I was I like, he's a giant. You're so tall. The attack of the six foot Asian girl. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! Did you see it? It was on Film Threat. It was a trailer. I watched the trailer. It was funny as hell. It was Attack of the Fifty Foot Cam Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to see that. The I don't know if the movie will be funny, but the trailer, I was, I was got a good laugh out of it. By the way, see this. As was talking about all those Batmobiles, right? That is mm. one Batmobile box, and wow. it's right up against my comics comic rack. That's how fucking big those. Th those they're huge. Dude, is it, it pre-assembled? Like it's all good to go? Yeah, yeah. It, well, pretty hmm. much. Yeah. I have two I couple parts on Batmobiles in storage: the the Justice Mobile from BVS, and the eighty nine. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, the uh, ninety two Batman Returns. That's exactly what I got. <clears throat> that's it. That's uh, that pff, done. Shut I'm about sixty six, maybe, but I don't know where the fuck I'm going to put it. My living. Oh, room. I've, I've already paid that off. From. Uh... <laughs> From Snyder Cut, the spider crawler machine. What is that called? Spider bat, bat, um, wank. I think that's wow. what it's called. Yeah, no, wow. it's spider bat. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. It's the, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's the crawler. It's the crawler. The crawler. crawler. Oh, there you go. I'm fine with it. I'm yeah. fine with it. That's comic book. That's crazy comic book shit. I'm fine with you know, all, all that. I'm okay. I'm not okay with some other things. I'm not like, okay. Uh, it's not okay. I'm not okay with like knowing who my superheroes fuck and how they fuck them. And oh. uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be okay if the Batmobile all of a sudden became like that show got, which the the name is escaping me right now. The the talking car with David Hasselhoff. What is that? Night Rider. Night Rider. Yeah, like when it, if it became like Night Rider and he's like, "I'm gay, Batman. What is your pronouns?" I would be like, "No." Nah, Michael, I'm... I have decided to come out the closet. <laughs> That's Greek. That's so fucking hilarious, what hilarious though. <laughs> And instead of just a red light going woo woo, it's like the the pride flag goes to the pride <laughs> flag, <laughs> like the trans one, like gay Cylons. Yeah. Oh my god, Michael, I do like the backside of that trans am. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, don't re random, Michael. <laughs> you know what's going to happen if they reboot it. You know what's going to happen. Well, is that Muller? Night Rider would be homo noir. We talked about this. Ooh, homo noir. Does that mean you're into black people? 
Wow. But only gay black people. <laughs> gay black people. <laughs> Homo noir. <laughs> it's the progressive way to describe such feelings. I'm going to choke on my food. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is what I mean. It's like, oh, I wouldn't want to see this show. It's like, no, oh you'd love this God, show. This show is so <laughs> I'm Homo noir. I'm only into gay black people. Dude, that's I'm, just a superhero name at this point, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh. From the boys. <laughs> Wow. Mm. Well, welcome back as to the internet. I mean, <laughs> aside from being on Twitter all damn day. I wasn't on Twitter all damn day. Dude, I'm like getting ready for Friday night tights like as tweet. Bing, 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 bing. Like, I'm like, my God. I watched Friday night tights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was entertaining. Pretty much it was. I thought it was great. Oh my god, when they when so you were show. arguing, I was laughing my dick <laughs> off. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. And then Odin fucking opened his mouth. That's it. Fuck Odin. Odin's getting fucking done as well. I'm just I'm just trying to I'm just trying to bring the fuck off Odin. I it was, it was that was just the felonian part two. It really was. I'm curious though, as what is your t a take on that debate? What side do you well, land well, on? Well, yeah. uh, weekly release. Ah. But you got to get those, you got to get those things. water cooler moments. You got you have to have those water cooler moments. The more yep. people that are talking, the more word of mouth that spreads, the more potential people uh, <laughs> will tune in to watch the show. Now, binge model's fine. Binge model could be popular because the show's good, but I think you miss out on potentially. A, extending the length of time that the natural marketing of your product goes on for. You always want uh, to and, and, and B, bringing new people in. Yeah. yeah word of mouth. Well, allowing. Yeah. It, it helps. A week the, and it's gone with a binge model. A week and it's out, the, it's out the public vernacular. No, I've been, when I started reviewing TV, I just couldn't review Netflix. I tried every way possible to review Netflix to get any kind of traction. And you just, what I ended up figuring out is just, I'll do the first episode and then I'll, and then three days later, I'll do the entire season. It was just a live thing and it never got the traction that a weekly mm. review, especially when your channel's new, right? Like, you know, I was reviewing American Gods like back in the day. And I think it was one of the first reviews I got like 7,000 views on my holy shit. That's awesome. And like mm -hmm. it, it stayed pretty consistent throughout the, the run of the show. But then Alter Carbon comes out. Everybody's talking about it, but it was like it was just gone in a week. And I was like, yeah. man, this isn't going to work. This just isn't going to work. Well, and it kind of goes both ways, too. You know how Game of Thrones, if they had released their final season all at once, the conversation about that would have been so much more difficult. But each <sighs> week, everyone mm. got to strain out exactly what was wrong before the next installment. And we had all the leaks, you know, like it's it's interesting. And when because it, it was this debate over which is the superior model for like the audience or right. for so still individuals? To this, I think uh, Jeremy was arguing uh, that he preferred the binge model, but he was also, I mean, part of his argument it, to be fair was like, if your shit's good, people are going to like it. Yes. Yes. But that is like, mm -hmm. we're talking extraordinary. I'm talking about as an entire business model. So like technically we were arguing about two different things because I like, oh, yeah. I, I was watching yeah. five, I'll watch five or six mm -hmm. episodes at once. Absolutely. Right. love that. Yeah, but, I, um, but I, I was, was like, talking way. about making a creating a water cooler show. Like that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Like yeah. you're you're never gonna have that. Like there, especially Game of Thrones was perfect because it was so dense, right in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, it was so dense. There was so many things crammed into a single frame. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, I was like the same way because I I personally like on a personal level i love the binge model and sometimes before i started the youtube thing most of the time because i like endings i would wait until the season ended or like whatever ended i would hold out and then i would <laughs> binge it for myself but as a business model you're right gary like you as a business you want weekly releases so that people talk about it and all the reasons that you stated so like if i was a if i was a netflix owner or business owner i wouldn't want binge i would want the other thing but for me, on a personal level, I like binging. So <laughs> it's and they have all the thing. numbers on the back end, right? They know what yes. works better and worse. And I don't know, I guess, well, because Netflix is the only one that's still doing it on a trying to do like fully Netflix controlled Netflix originals, I'm assuming still get released as full season straight away. 
But, uh, um, it, they, they do it semi now. Like some of them, they do like half and half. Like they they started that with the ranch, and I think they're doing that mm-hmm. now with other shows. I'm not. I don't know like, um, the show, but Arcane released in uh, three episodes per week. I think it was. Which oh, is a, okay. is a really strange middle ground. Like, yeah, I think that's dumb too. I, I mean, it's better. <clears throat> Sorry, as yeah. go ahead. No, I just, I just tend to, uh, when there's a binge model, I just tend to burn myself out a bit on the show, and so I don't like when you kind of get through the midsection, mm-hmm. it, it sort of just begins to churn uh, to try and get towards the end, and and then you, you, I don't feel as if I've fully appreciated the um, nice. That's the uh, <clears throat> DC versus Marvel. Uh, I fully haven't appreciated the show, whereas if it was uh, fed to me on a weekly basis, I just think I would be able to absorb it and appreciate it more. But that's just me on a personal level. Mm-hmm. I certainly think that about if, if if I'm talking to people about a show, I'll I will cripple my ability to see it all at once just because I enjoy the discussions and stuff. But like you know, like Squid Game, when I first saw that, I blasted through the whole season and I was happy to. Um. um... I think I, I mean, it was unbelievable. And, and yeah, I wanted more and more because it was so engrossing. But I think I at least gave myself a few little breaks on that. Uh, and, oh, you know, we're talking maybe a few hours. So I know it's not much, mm-hmm. but um, at least I gave myself like a, a, a few little breaks. And then when I hit episode six, it was just like, oh, holy shit. You know? This is what I'm saying. Like, it's <laughs> not even just for good content. Like, if you know, if Book of Boba Fett just blasted out all at once, it would be like, fuck, we got so much to talk about. There's so much stupid shit. Did you see the Vespers? <laughs> and then some people are like, the Vespers, dude, did you see Cad Bane's stupid death? And it'd just be like, yeah, who's going to, you know, when you do it weekly, it's way easier to break it, uh, break down like subjects and stuff, um, both good and bad. And, and movie people, and we could get it, like, don't know how to make television yet. They're not there. They think they do. They think mm. they know, but they don't know. Mm. Um, and that has been pro- that's specifically a problem with Disney, who has movie people making television, not television people making television. Uh, and that's why they tend to. Uh, they're not used to telling that long of a story. Yeah, it's a they're totally different ball movie. game. Yeah, it's a, this, this big fucking dead thing, and they don't have showrunners. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's well, because really it's obvious. On as his point to a degree, I think pacing does come into it as well in the same way that it's like if if your fans were offered like we could do the four friday night tights all in a row at the beginning of the month and then a gap until the next month or once every friday i'm pretty sure they would all vote for once every friday because it's uh it's like it's like on off on off instead of on 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 off for ages which is kind of like how it goes with this model where you're like ooh, i blasted through and that's done well now what yeah, it, it, exactly. I use the episode, the episode of television. Like, why bother? You're gonna binge it all, then make it chapters, make it more connected. Why are you why are you breaking it into episodes? It, it almost seems like you're just adhering to some weird tradition, hmm. uh, and it doesn't flow the same, and it just <clears throat> and it makes it uh, disposable, meaningless. And that's what I mean. Quite frankly, moving to streaming does it to everything. It it's makes a classic it, um, rule of thumb. Don't break a tradition until you understand why it exists. Mm. Yep. I think I think one of the reasons why Mulder as well, the, the Squid Game binge was easier is because Squid Game was such a very specific show the way it set up. Every episode was like a different game. So it, well, it um, kind of felt more like watching a few episodes of even though it had an interconnecting story, obviously. But it was. I felt it. I felt it more akin to watching a few episodes of, say, like Star Trek, as opposed to watching, um, like, House of Cards. You know, where there's this just massive sort of consistent story going on. Uh, I was still throughout. Like, I was still like it though. That if if you and I were watching that, like, we might even maybe we'll do this with season two. Mm. Though this maybe I'm assuming that'll all drop at once anyway. But my point was going to be that um, had we been anticipating Squid Game, let's just say we knew about it. I would be happy for it to come out one per week then, because I would do yeah. like streams with you or something talking about it. Yeah, and I would be, I'd be fine with it. Yeah, I, I would prefer to have those moments of uh, all right, episode one's done. Let's let's sit down and talk. Um, and then Robert and I, we you know we started going through the um, the Squid Game episodes week by week. We'd do uh, uh, a week until uh, he went back onto Campier's show, but 
Um, so yeah, it, that, that's, I mean, for a content creator, it's great, but also I think, you know, when you're at work, uh, work, work can be shitty for a lot of people, yeah. you know, it could be a means to an end as opposed to something that you really want to do. You don't get to choose who you work with that's chosen for you. Um, so to have those, you know, moments of levities during your break time, during your lunch time, where you can sit down with some, some people and say, Hey, did, did you check out the latest episode of you know, Reacher or the latest episode of uh, Squid Game or whatever it may be. Rings of Power! <laughs> it's coming. Can oh, coming. yes it is. Oh, yes it is. <sighs> Wait, Rings of Power is like weekly though, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice. probably, so. It's going to give That's... us time to dissect that shit. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that we're all going to have things to say about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So yeah, it's just nice to to talk about these things. Uh, yeah, so don't worry, as friends. Batwoman's gone, but Lord of the yeah. Rings is coming. Oh well, yeah, we can't bury the lead there. You, we lost a we lost a friend this, we lost a friend this week. Okay. <laughs> we did. Mahler as specifically, I gave up after fucking two episodes. I'm like, this show is too dumb. We still got like ten episodes to watch uh, on EFAB. We're looking forward to them. You know, wow. Batwoman will be it's dead on EFAB for a while. It's it's Why a culture. Sure. That's what I was saying. I, I, it's not. It wasn't me reviewing Batwoman per se. It was my. It was me doing a video that my audience wanted to see because they wanted to see a, a, a fucking breakdown of a guy uh, trying to review <laughs> this absolutely diabolical show. So mm -hmm. It became more of a, a meme thing, but the audience were were into it. Um, don't worry. I, I've I've said I've said this already. Gotham Knights, which is going to replace it. Uh, may even absorb the cast, who knows? But uh, Gotham yeah. Knights that's replacing it is written by the same people who wrote Batwoman. Uh, they uh, they pulled Wonder Twins. They canceled it. Off. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's, so I, I would that's look for Gotham hard. Knights to follow shortly. I think oh. it'll get axed. Zaslov isn't fucking around. I... I, I yeah. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, he is not fucking around. He is like slashing and burning so we'll see and naomi hasn't gotten a season two yet right naomi hasn't been uh renewed and she actually has worse ratings in her first season than batwoman does Bye. in the third goodbye I believe, like see you now that woman like, like like ruby rose would have been pitched that she was like you know all the big celebrities are doing their their own tv shows that I wonder if they would have mentioned stuff like Oscar Isaac to a Moon Knight at that point or whatever to it, attempted to do it. And then she got there and she was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Horrible I production. Knew, I don't think they knew that Oscar Isaac would be in Moon Knight by then. Oh, I don't fucking... What, whatever, you know, like, we, we've yeah, had a couple yeah, yeah. examples. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's, how, like that's, that's, that's how I think they sold it to do Grey Scott. Yeah. I think they sold it to him like, oh, we're bringing we're bringing Batwoman, you know, from the Bat family into TV form. You've you know, you know how the Bat movies are. Yeah. This, you know, we're going to give you this this prominent role as a lead. Her daughter, her father. Oh, but how they get him for um, how they get him for second season? You know, maybe maybe contract. the contract was the first two. Yeah, mm -hmm. contracted for two. It had to be. You could tell the guy was miserable. Dude, second season, he was like barely in it. And whenever he was in it, he was like drunk. Drunk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was probably really, really drunk too. Drunk wow. and shouty. I wouldn't I mean, even, this is the thing. I wouldn't blame him at all. I, I, I'd, I'd be tipsy fucking recording that shit. Are you kidding me? Like, so you're seeing again, you're getting high off snake bite. You, you care about your daughter or whatever. You're like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. Dude, fucking my, whatever. my goodbye Batman woman video, that, that silly little thing that I did. It's it only on about, so like, good. about fifty-five thousand views, but it's on eleven thousand likes, or fifty thousand. You know, that's like <laughs> what? That's insane for YouTube. But um, it just kind of—I think—it just sort of shows that it was the end of a an era know. of yeah. mega shit. I don't know if you saw it, but we ended up watching that on EFA, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> you did. Oh my yeah. god. That's funny. And we've already, like, someone already asked. We were like, yeah, yeah, totally. By the time we get to the season three finale, we'll probably invite yourself, uh, Jay Longbone and um, mm. uh, Drinker, whoever. We'll probably have a big party to say goodbye get to. Get the Rice involved as well. Yeah, sure. Why not? The Rice Unlimited, because he's, he's, 
gone through the whole journey as well. We were thinking once we watch the final episode that we would all immediately then watch the pilot again together. Oh Just wow. Remember the good old days, how it all started. Uh <laughs> <laughs> you will you will be allowed to bring alcohol so don't worry about okay all right that's... how ruby rose how that costume was like they had to there must have been so there must have been enough extra material to make another costume <laughs> as you remember like when she first jumps off like a building and flies away and it's just a really awkward png of a yeah dude <laughs> it's and being guys, dragged like... across the screen <laughs> You, you guys were laughing so hard. It was so funny. I love that. Was my favorite moment of your video. I only watched one episode of the Ruby Rose, and then I was like, "I'm out." Like I, I was like, "Fuck this! What is this?" They she even they, it was terrible. They even removed from the um, the live show the line. <clears throat> I'm not going to let a man take credit for yeah. a woman's work because everyone had absolutely slaughtered the fact. That she had literally just walked into a man's cave <laughs> and stole all his shit. I thought that was still and then in the show. Was that going, not in the I'm show? gonna let a man take credit for a woman's work. What the fuck did you do? <laughs> and I just love the way that every story wasn't about helping Gotham, it was about saving their fucking lesbian partner. Yeah. That was all it was about. This was week I'm saving scary. this person that means something to me. This week I'm saving that person that means something to me. Meanwhile, God is just burning on fire. People are putting up pride bats. That's pretty <laughs> accurate. Pride oh, bats. <laughs> well, remember when she forgave like the, the person who <laughs> killed everybody on like a train because she was gay? Yes, she forgave oh us because she was God, gay. Oh my God, what? Uh, really good storytelling. Just top notch. Yeah. Well, yeah. You but... would go to juvie, but because you're a lesbo. Well, it, it's <laughs> a we'll show written by off. like drunk Marin wine moms. Marin oh. County wine moms, if they wrote Bat Batman, would be Bat is Batwoman. To the point where the writer in one of her profile pictures like has, has a glass of wine in her hand with like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I found that one. I was laughing my Fucking ass off. Wild. I was like, yep, that pretty much sums it up right there. That's why I always find it cringe when you have those like posts that are like, oh, men just do not know how to write women. It's like, and what do women know how to write? <laughs> <laughs> why would you? Why would I you stop? You can't write even write women. women. We have established that women cannot write men and women. So yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. Like, what was Batwoman? Like, what was that? <laughs> Especially like progressive white women. They don't really know how to write anything. Like, it's no. like what? <laughs> yeah. How did you visit Leslie? Uh, take the crown off Ruby Rose. Um, the suit literally fell <laughs> from the sky and landed at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine now. By the river. It's mine well, now. The van down by the river. It's so racist. And he, she's like a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I got jailed for 18 months uh, unfairly. Oh, you had drugs <laughs> in your bag. And we later discovered she had drugs in her bag. And one of the, the policemen has said, hey, you should smile. So she hit him. Yeah. So she assaulted an officer. When they arrested her and searched her, she had shit loads of drugs in her bag. She got sentenced to 18 months. And she's like, well, my fault. It's a mon moronic writing. They don't even realize that that's justified <laughs> for arrest and uh, conviction. What are you doing? <laughs> she's dating a drug dealer who's pumping the biggest and worst drug Gotham's ever seen. And she knows yeah. and doesn't care. Because <laughs> she's getting a fucking badge licked. That's hero material right there. That is that is the extent of this show. When you're meant to be the protector of Gotham and you're literally dating the, the, the person who's making the worst drug that's causing a, 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 a I don't know what you call it, an epidemic in the, in the streets of Gotham. And she, cause she's just getting her end away. Nuts. And by the way, when she got put into protective custody, <laughs> never mentioned her name again on the show. Um, a lot of characters get disappeared on that show. <laughs> I'm looking at Uber Geeks. That's a <laughs> they... wrong assumption. An adopted guy, an adopted guy who's pro-abortion. Well, think about it. Think about it. Think about think it. About it. Just think about it a little bit. I'll put the I'll put up the me now. It's funny. Or the uh, the spider monkey, who uh, 
who two members of the Crows got arrested for for tackling a criminal. <laughs> 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 oh, <man>. oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh my wow. god! <laughs> and then oh, Ryan tell me it's is not there true too. about that bill that's been passing. <laughs> oh, Ryan, I didn't even see Ryan on the right. <laughs> Ryan, <page. laughs> Ryan's the funniest one because <laughs> he's got that face. Pay for his love no, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mm. He's holding. He's holding the banner. God bless him. That's right. Wow, <laughs> funny. <laughs> we look good in dresses. I'm just saying. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, well, hello, Mahler. Hello. Did you guys see oh. the the Lion King video from YMS? Yeah, I think I saw it. I don't Were know. You, did you talk to me about it? I think yeah. I, I think I might have. You. I, yeah, I yeah. just oof hyper recommendation on that one. If if especially if you haven't even seen the new version, we were talking earlier about like don't fuck shit up if you don't understand why it was that way to begin with. Mm. Oh my god, I had no idea how much they were screwing with everything that they they get their hands on Disney uh, with with the the classics and stuff. Though I guess oh, yeah. I should have noticed. I mean, I watched the um, Cruella back to back with the original Dalmatians movie. Holy fuck! Did any of you guys? experience that shit uh no because i was like i'm not ruining my childhood fuck this they're doing oh, another no. cruella cruella's got a sequel hasn't it? i yeah. know what? they got green lit right well, yeah, away i mean that goes what what didn't alice in wonderland the first one wasn't that tim burton right yeah yeah did that made a billion dollars yeah mm -hmm. a billion fucking dollars and that was a uh, 10 years ago right yeah, uh, more maybe than a that. More? Well, yeah. Some of them are getting out. Massive hit. Like they did uh, Lady of the Tramp <laughs> and it sneaked out onto Disney Plus, and I don't even think anybody talked about it. No. But, like they've already done that one. But yeah, John Favreau did the Lion King remake, right? Oh, dude, if mm -hmm. look, yeah. let's put it this way. Okay? If you uh <laughs> if your respect for John Favreau is in a particular place, it will plummet after watching YMS's video on this. My he, like he lied through his fucking teeth about so much on the production of this film. <clears throat> and he lied again and again about how much respect was paid, how much uh, of the production actually went the way that it did. I'm starting to wonder if he was actually hired just for his uh, credibility rather than uh, anything else. Because the... <clears throat> he was hired because uh, the Jungle Book had done so well. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, the Jungle Book, because like the, I haven't seen that one either. But what I, from what I've been told, that's like a different story than what the um, the original Jungle Book was. Like this is like a different telling of, of a similar story. Yeah, but it this was is... different. I actually did watch that one, and the first one was actually okay. Like it that's wasn't. What I've heard. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like, that bad. It's not like the worst thing ever. But this, like, if you like The Lion King, this <laughs> film is horrifying. Like it, it like butchers so many of the scenes, all the characters. I don't know if you guys know, but Jeremy Irons has quite a specific voice. It's quite a neat voice. Mm -hmm. Wait, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Where's everyone going? And, uh, Gary, uh, Gary's going to get coffee, I think. Oh, his well, um, but he got replaced, um, as did every other voice actor except James Earl Jones, which was probably the only voice actor that couldn't reprise the role because he's too old now and he sounds a little different, unfortunately. Mm. Um but I'm guessing, like, to replace Mufasa would have been uh, too, I don't know, people would have been too upset. I don't know if you guys, because this is the thing. I might be talking from a place of passion that no one else shares here, because I don't know if you guys like The Lion King that much. I love um, the original Lion King, Mahler. Like, I'm a huge fucking, fan. It's a fucking great movie. Uh, Fantastic the, movie. Be prepared, like, often voted, like, the greatest villain song in all of Disney's fucking canon. They didn't even have it in the remake at first until... It, until everyone complained because of the fact that it was obvious that like, there's there's Nazi references in the song. Oh my god! And so they were like, "Oh, oh gotta get that out of there." And then the whole the whole family is like, what "The fuck you do? It's the villain song. Like what? <laughs> 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 yeah. Where did so, that trick go? No. Wait, where am I doing? So, right. ah, sorry. Okay, you you do it. You do it. No, I. Sh I there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, I'm assuming you guys are similar to me in that I didn't see this this remake, but I've seen clips and I and like Twitter went nuts when it first came out that the the um the remakes version of when Mufasa dies, you've got 
Jeremy Irons in the original being like, long live the king. And then you've got the new vision that's like, long live the king. Mm. It's like, what the fuck? Um, and the, yeah. the comparison for like the execution of the animation and stuff. It's all this shit where uh, it's just an absolute nightmare. And he made a video all about it. Uh, it's like two hours long. It's fucking great. I would, I would fully recommend it. That's what I was doing with my last week theoretically yeah. I don't know. <laughs> like that's i get m more out of that than watch i mean like because i have no emotional connection to the first one mm -hmm. at all so well let's just say they did the same thing to it that they've done to fucking everything else these days yep <laughs> that i can sympathize with for sure yeah, they, ain't I, done. I, they ain't done it's no. gonna be so great uh, because the tide is turning and like uh I, the, I think dr strange is gonna have a great first weekend and it's gonna the way it sounds i don't know I, hi nina I, what do you think i i love i love the disney lo, you know the, the not live action that like the car original cartoons you guys know i i grew up on those uh i love that shit i was a disney girl i all the way love the disney princesses all of it all of that stuff i was a sucker for everything disney got my mom to spend all her hard-earned money on everything disney and then uh you know, I at first I really liked like the live action Cinderella, like the when they first came out with it, but it was told like a billion times already. Like we we already had like a million Cinderellas and a million Peter Pans. So I was like, ah, whatever. And then they came out with Beauty and the Beast, and we were like, ah, whatever. And then it was like, mm. oh, this is like a trend that they're doing now. Like they're gonna just keep redoing every single good. Mm -hmm movie that they had and they <clears> went into that thing and i was like you know what i'm out so i stopped watching the lion king i didn't watch aladdin i didn't watch you know any of these cruella i did watch maleficent and maleficent was fucking terrible and that was one of the first original ones that they made like the villain all sympathetic and i was like what is this and, and that was another trend that they set because they were like you know, all villains are misunderstood now, and they all Ugh. have like well, female ones, especially female, especially yeah, female. female ones. Like they're so complicated, and usually they have a man that they can blame. Like you know, it's the <laughs> man's problem. In that case, it was the poor good king. Like I was like, what the good well, can we, king? Can we just like remind everybody they wrote it so that Cruella Deville's backstory is Dalmatians killed him, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> that's what? fucking hilarious i mean i, I heard about that, that i didn't watch it but i heard that that's what happened and i, I saw like, it's i've so seen funny. the scene and i laughed and i laughed and i laughed they literally like push her off a cliff don't they yeah it's funny as fuck and they actually think we're supposed to take that seriously i yeah. just unbelievable <laughs> like Everyone, everyone just wonders if they're gonna repeat it with all the other characters. Like, oh, you just make it so that the thing they're mean to is the thing that killed their mother, actually. Oh, yeah, they're doing it with everything. And I'll talk about Picard later. Oh, I yeah. saw what they did to his mum. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, there's a picture of his mum as an old woman in his photo album. And and thanks to Red Letter Media, uh, he mispronounced. <laughs> My mom hanged herself, not hung herself. Hanged I, herself. Honestly, though, it's weird that all the writers would miss that, but also the Patrick Stewart would miss that. Well, no, Patrick Stewart English, is yeah. dumb as a bag of hammers. Uh, he is yesterday. fucking tard. He is a functional tard. <laughs> Listen to his interviews. Oh. He's like, oh, rah, 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 rah. he's he was really good at at he's that he he's almost that stereotypical uh, Trevor uh, Slattery. Like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's what he is. Mm. <laughs> that's what he is. If if he gets caught by Al Qaeda, he'll start doing Mac Macbeth. Macbeth, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I do uh, not deserve to be here. <laughs> uh, like, there's a reason that that stereotype exists because it exists, <laughs> and Patrick Stewart is it. These are guys who like all they did. I mean, like they, you know, like the way uh, the UK used to do theater is why they produce so many great fucking actors. By the way, Ian McKellen talks about this in his. Because uh, they had minor leagues, essentially, for America. I'll try to do the sports reference. Uh, they had kind of a state-sponsored minor leagues where you would have to go around and get a certain amount of hours to get into a union mm -hmm. uh, of acting. So all your buddies would go to these little towns and do this theater, and you'd switch parts so you'd get all yes. your versatility. Yes. And this is why you know, British actors from 60s, 70s, 80s were just better than everybody. Just better. 
because they were better trained and stuff. And I'm not all collectivist union shit, but I mean, like, I'm all about like practicing and training. I think that's good. I think it's yeah. good. Like try as many things as possible. And uh, that's why we got so many good actors, but that's all they did is partied and acted. They didn't like work a day job. They didn't like, you know, they none of that stuff. Yeah. Like, like Zoolander, perfect- Zoolander in the mines. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, jitterbug. <laughs> yeah, the perfect example of that too is like That's Alec Rickman, movie. right? Because he was a theater actor too before he got his big, big start. Uh, and um, pretty yeah. much every British actor Diehard. in Hollywood is from the Shakespeare. Yeah, they all rather, if they're real great. Like, they end up yeah. in America. Mm. Yeah, it was Thatcher who ended it. Who ended the um, uh, the, the gatekeeping and the union stuff. Mm. So. Yeah, so Disney live action can suck a dick. That's all I can say. That is about the that. conclusion, yes. And yeah. the, mm. the more victims along the way. The, the Melissa McCarthy will be playing Ursula. Like that it just oh. seems oh. is it trying to make us laugh. Like I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I know. What? <laughs> I know. Wait, is the Little Mermaid still what? like race swapped? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This should this should tell you how far Hollywood they're so disconnected. Like Amy Schumer hosting the, <laughs> the fucking Oscars and Melissa McCarthy being in anything right now. I mean, she's in anything, how, yeah. How oh. fucking behind they are. Nobody gives a shit about either of those two women. They they no. are they are peak 2012, right? Or Sounds 30. like a joke, doesn't it? Amy Schumer yeah. hosting the Oscars. You're like, are you are you You're playing into the kidding? meme? Like, what are yeah, you doing? It's just a meme. <laughs> I thought it was a joke the first time I saw it, but it was like Amy Schumer and this person and this person and Wanda Sykes. I was like, is this like, like a fucking joke? Like, are they is somebody like yeah, Wanda is Sykes this the Babylon like, B? Considered <laughs> funny 20 years ago, and yeah. I would question it highly then. Okay. And then she stole bloody Ricky Gervais's joke. Yeah. About yep. they hired yep. two women because it was the same as one man. It's like Ricky Gervais did that at the Golden Globes, you fucking robbing bitch. Well, that's that's not surprised. Well, that's there again. That, no, it's something that she's known for is stealing uh-huh. other men's jokes. I like how he's just like the automatic pick for basically everybody for like who should host it next. I was like, please him, him, Ricky, please, Ricky, Ricky, yeah, him. Ricky Gervais. Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> just ending it. <sighs> that would be fun because it's it's everybody, inevitable. If he hosted the Oscars, everyone would be waiting for the Will Smith part. <laughs> like, come on, come on, come yeah. On. yeah. <laughs> Great to see so many lovely people here today. <laughs> <laughs> we got some, 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 some will. My bad. I said the only way I would watch seriously is if they did like the old comedy central roast style, where you mm. get like some pretty raunchy comedians, and everybody who wins has to get fucking roasted, like by by a panel. Uh, I think that would Shatton be great. Roast. Yeah, the William yeah. Shat roast is the best, in my opinion. That that's where the, that's when Andy Dick licked everybody. I know. Oh I did God! About it. Did they fucking sue? Uh, no. Cause... God knows what they would have contracted from him. Yeah, he licked uh, Carrie Fisher and. Ah, oh, that's why she died. <laughs> I knew you were gonna make that joke. I was like, "Yep, that's the one. That's the one." Yeah, I'm just, I'm just. Hi, it's my girl. Can we, can we just quickly? Hi. Oh. Okay. Oh look, the day oh, the my. MCU died. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The They're gonna click my fingers and all time's gonna go. Should have quit soon oh, as he no. snapped that finger. He should have gone, okay, I'm out. Thanks. Take over, Victoria. <laughs> Oopsie. I, I like how and X Ray was just silenced by a white man. <gasps> yep. <on> <laughs> so I racist. Just wanna, I just want to keep things realistic. Uh hi, <laughs> hi X-ray girl. How are you? Hi. I, I'm good. I um am recovered. I got sick on Friday night heights and then spent the next day. I was supposed to hang out with Nina. And then I spent it in bed, not doing anything fun. Not hanging out with Nina. Yeah. Not not hanging out with Nina. Uh, no. You know, the day before, we went swimming. We effing, you know, in the oh cenote. There was a picture. Scissoring in the cenote. Yeah, we, were yeah, we scissored in the cenote. Yeah. It was the... Uh, it's like a title of a romance novel. It's raining in the snow time. comic. I'm not really sure which. <laughs> or yeah, or just a normal Marvel comic. <laughs> the next uh, thing that comes out, okay? <laughs> oh, 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 whoa, hey. Oh. <laughs> wow. Um, but I'm doing good. I um, slept literally the last three days. 
and um, now I'm back. Excellent. Yeah, she got she got uh, sick off the Cancun sun because yeah. uh, it was too much for her. She couldn't oh, handle yeah. she couldn't handle the heat. Yeah, I kind of well, wish some equator shit, right? So. I had a like an IV with saline. You know how like LA yeah. or not LA, Las Vegas has that where you can go and get that done and hydrate. Yes. They should have that here. I agree. They really should. There you go. Scissoring in the cenote. Yep. Uh, that's really fun though. See, you, you oh, got it. Oh, and that's our banana picture. Yeah. There was um banana there's rain. a picture out there of us eating the bananas, but will you ever see it? Whoa. Yeah, that's uh that's for X-ray girls only fans. That's only yeah. Fans. yeah. For your eyes only. But the cenote was amazing, Gary. It if was. you ever come here, we'll we'll all go and uh we'll have a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Not not scissoring in the cenote though. Uh, and there's just some, so many bananas everywhere. I'm just saying. Yes, when I was at the hotel, bananas everywhere. Literally. Wow. Here's a quote oh, from Sam ahead. Raimi on Doctor Strange too. About bananas. Oh. <clears throat> About bananas. No. Uh, it was challenging <laughs> being halfway into the film and not knowing what the ending was. Oh. <laughs> what? Nice. That is the Hollywood reporter. Poor Sam Raimi. It, it, they did it to him again. First Sony with Spider-Man 3 and then Kevin Feige. Uh, yeah, I'm going to rip the shit out of Kevin Feige again this live stream. Ooh. I think he's a fraud. Uh, I think the guy has uh, usurped so much power and taken so much credit for shit he didn't do. He's a producer. He has no fucking creative talent whatsoever. He can't write. He can't I fucking know. direct. And now it's showing. It's showing that this guy, now he's completely in charge of everything. He's in charge of Marvel Comics. They're shit. He's in charge of D+. It's shit. And now, as Chris Gore describes it, this movie feels like a Disney Plus show. Whose fault is that? Kevin Feige. Kevin yeah. fucking Feige. Should have quit at the end of Endgame. I even said that. I'm a like, dude, if I were you, I'd quit right now. They'll name Streets after you. But mm, live long enough to become the villain. How it goes. Well, I was going to say, this feels a little bit different, I'll say, that compared to Spider-Man, because at least there you had the two movies done already, proven, and then they screw them over with like restrictions on the third. This one, I'm assuming Sam was told all of this before he agreed, right? Uh, no. He wasn't. There, there was another film. They reshot, like, the, the it's, it's varying degrees, but they've reshot either 60% or 80% of this film. And there, it was trending. It wasn't trending, but it, it was auto filling on Twitter last night. Released the Raimi cut it was already, <laughs> but like they didn't start shooting this film until he was already on board, right? Because he joined February, and then they start shooting in November of that year. Yeah, and they had it done. This thing's been done for a while, and then they went back. They've done and reshoots six, again. They reshoots six they presume, days a week. So that's, that's almost their, um, that's like six days a week, ten to twelve hours a day. That's almost in that. That's in you can do an entire film in that amount of time. Yeah, yeah, and that's our assumption. That's the cameo reshoots, presumably, because I've been hearing that a lot of the Rotten Tomatoes reviews, a lot, a lot of them have been saying like, "Yeah, there was a lot of cameos." It's like, oh shit, like that's and, what this is gonna be. And what did we mm-hmm. all say? We every one of us said they're gonna learn the lo- wrong lessons. They're gonna just think, "Oh, yep. we want to see somebody." No, they need to be part of the story. Red I don't want to see a nodding, a nodding Thank black you. bolt like get evaporated. Wow. That was fucking Dude. fun. Well, I was going to say, how, uh, how much are we allowed to talk about here in terms of stuff? Uh, that we there's a major know. spoiler. Ryan already talked about it in one of his videos, but uh, there's a major yeah. spoiler out there. There's this a is, major. So this major is like, a, you know, cause on the table. I don't give a fuck about spoilers for this thing, but mm-hmm. I understand a lot of people might. So I, I'm not, you know. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do earmuffs, right? In five seconds, and we can talk about it because I don't care. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't even want to see the fucking film. We are going to talk about a major spoiler. And then uh, uh, for like five minutes, and then we'll, I'll, you know, I'll wave. When you see me wave, you can come back in. All right. If you don't want to hear it, if you don't want to be spoiled. So I'll count down five, four, three, two, one. Spoiler warning. Go <laughs> on. So, well, um, obviously, the Wanda is basically going to be killing all these different cameo people that um, I've heard John Krasinski, Mr. Fantastic, is going to get killed by it. Yep. What? <laughs> it's just like what? The no fuck are you way! Doing? Like, who the fuck thought that was a good idea? 
Like, Why how that? many people thought that was a good idea? The first time we see a Marvel Mr. Fantastic, he dies. That is the dumbest shit. You never do that. You never, ever do that. You you do that when, like when Mr. Fantastic is established and you've had 400 issues of comics or uh, three seasons of a TV show or four <laughs> fucking movies in your own universe. But that's your first appearance. That's what? your fucking first appearance. That and is... He's- He's a fan Idiot. cast too. Like one that a lot of people were really interested in. Maybe he could do it, and you that's kill what, him. <laughs> that's what? why I'm shocked. Like it's John Krasinski, and and they're gonna kill him. That's and insane. he'll probably be, and that probably he's probably not gonna be Mr. Fantastic either. Yeah, I, yeah. It's probably just a fun little thing. It's not an actual thing. Yeah. So everybody wants that, that, and you're gonna get like, uh, sorry, folks, you're gonna get probably your uh asian mr fantastic or latino mr fantastic uh not the one from the comics <laughs> mr. not fantastic. the ones in the comics <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, you're gonna get you're gonna get a, a, a disney special uh fucking fantastic four why do you think they've and been dragging their feet fantastic. on this and then i love that there was an article the other day go kevin feige is gonna go off and map out the next 10 years of the fucking <laughs> mcu oh, oh, my God. Shit. he can't even map out a fucking movie yeah, dude. You you start a movie with not even knowing the fucking ending. How do you think? Come on. Okay, so, like, let's go way back. Let's go way back to when I was selling comics. This is, like, my last year. These were selling, like, fucking hotcakes. These are Scotty Young variants. <gasps> they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. They're, like, yeah. mini people. See what I'm see- they're, see like, what I'm chibis. About? See what it does to the gills, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 This Look is at what the started little fucking chibi ruining comics. Captain America. He's <laughs> so cute. I want it. It, it, it. I'll give it to you. You can you can have it. I have a ton of these things. <laughs> Ooh, I, I was one. selling these. I was selling these for twenty five to thirty dollars a piece, and they were gone in five minutes. He's so cute. I was making so much money, but then you didn't know like this was bringing in the pop vinyl era. All oh, this little look at the little cutie Marvel characters, and then it all chippy out. phase, oh, wasn't it? Everything went through a chippy phase. Yeah, but look at the inside Everything of the book, dude. The inside of the book is, is <clears throat> fucking great. You know, it's Hitch. Like, look at this. It's great. But this is like after Avengers versus X Men, which was a fucking hot mess. Uh, yeah. Look at look at that Thor Cap look like fucking Thor and Cap. They look like fucking men, but it was all being wow. phased out. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely look like men. <laughs> well, it's better than the mm. shit they have now. I mean, like, Hitch takes forever. Part of his problem is he's too fucking slow. He's really good, but he's slow. Oh, that, yeah, Scarlet they got That's pretty Scarlet women, Witch. too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Scarlet Witch looked hot. Yeah, she did. Now they look like frumpy Cal Lesbians. It, yeah, everybody <laughs> looks like a pod person or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, is that the only spoiler, though? Or is there more? Oh, oh well, there's, there's more. Well, one. Uh yeah, there's there's a whole Reddit page. The um, yeah, the umbrella spoiler is the Scarlet Witch is fucking killing everybody. Um, so there's a yeah, there's a comic book called uh Punish Punisher kills the Marvel Universe, and he literally kills the Marvel Universe. This is it. This is Wanda. Just uh, th- they figured out that getting the cameos in was just bring instead of having her kill a bunch of fodder, th- they're gonna kill characters you might actually like. Yeah, yeah, that's great. But there has to be a kill? solution, no? Like, meaning, like, they'll kill them and they'll bring them back? Or, I don't... No, they'll kill them and make a movie about them. Um, I don't even uh, think we're getting that. I think it's... I think it's the shallowest form of cameo that we're getting. Yeah. The multiverse cameo. Yeah, and I don't think there's a mention of Kang, either. <laughs> really? Oh, <no. laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Kang did everything. I, well, I mean, Chris Gore can confirm that, but that would just... That would not surprise me at all. At all, dude. What in the hell is the fucking point of all these shows? Like, what is the point of Loki? I don't, I don't get it. Well, That's what I've been all, wiping. So it's interesting you bring that up. Um, Sam Raimi said that uh, he was just like told what the important bits of WandaVision are for Wanda. He hasn't seen the show. I was like, is that even a requirement for these what? creators anymore? Do they even need to like? You know what it's like. You're being brought in to make the Moon Knight movie. You'd be like, oh, cool. It's like you don't need to see the show. It's like, oh. Well, that's like the creator <laughs> of Wanda Vision. Didn't she say she's never read a Wanda comic? Like oh, she was like, God, I've never it's... read a Scarlet Witch comic. I was like, never read a Marvel yeah. comic. But like, oh, he's Marvel. He's writing wow. the sequel story. She didn't know who this was. 
Oh, God. She, didn't know, yeah, she didn't know who Mephisto who was. Was. <laughs> Don't remind me. Um, I mean, now like, it makes it makes perfect sense why the Quicksilver cameo in one division makes no fucking sense. It's meaningless. Yeah. It's meaningless. Like they they should have made it okay. The Kang, Spider Man, No Way Home, uh, even even Spider Man Far From Home. All these multiverse things should all be connected. Should yeah. all have been connected, and they're not. They're yes. all separate things. And I guess Kevin Feige sees it as foreshadowing, which is just dumb. Um. It's dumb. So uh, what I think is like we're gonna do a bunch of multiverse stuff and we'll see what sticks, and then we'll yeah. say that's that's the through line. That's so. Yeah, it's, it, oh, it's a fucking mess right now. But that's so the stupid. fact that we now have confirmation, like in production, you're making the story that comes after One Division for Wanda specifically, right? You're writing historians are just like, should I even see it? And they're just like, eh. <laughs> 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 eh. So yeah, I, I I mean, people don't like seeing their heroes die. They just no. don't. No. Okay. Uh, they'll, they'll, they like a sacrifice this for like good good stuff, but I don't think anyone's gonna want to watch all these people. Like, like we're gonna have to watch Professor X get like fucking killed by it. It's just like why? Yeah, they're just bringing in people oh. for her to kill. It's fucking weird. And, and this is all for a bunch of fucking fake children. Awesome. They're not yep. even real. They're not even fucking real. And she's gonna wipe out like it. somehow. It's people. worse than that. It's not only that they're fake, but she's going to different dimensions to get fake children. Like, what? And she's well, killing okay. people. And it's and then she's going to be forgiven probably at the end. Uh, probably. Oh. I mean, but hang on, though. I mean, I feel I like that's kind go. of... That's probably the only picture. thing that's in line with her, like, MCU Disney seen... Plus. Dim C Disney Plus character. Because her Disney Plus character went and, did you know, imprisoned humans for her own weird like you know situation like her grief or whatever has led broke. her to hmm a vibrator broke yeah for that okay so she went in prison prison actual humans <laughs> and blah 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 and now it, it, they're stretching that story to okay for her you know fake kids she's gonna destroy a whole multiverse of universes like did, did you feel that was convincing when you said it okay <laughs> she's gonna destroy the multiverse for no, fake children no but <laughs> i'm saying it's in line with her mc like her disney plus character i guess like that's i, I don't even she think had that. no reason <laughs> like at all it was fucking weird the problem is like they showed us the kids being constructed of bullshit they're, they're just as fake as like they're any t-shirt yeah. she gave anybody in that place i don't understand why she cares about them so much and it's like the films have done nothing to explain this to me. Like, a, she made them. She constructed them of nothing. Okay, Mahler, is it kind of like the way I felt about my uh, digital horse that died in Red Dead 2? Because <laughs> I really felt for that horse. I was no, like, no. It, it might have been, but like, th there's no, there's no context for their relationship in the MCU. No, like none. Nothing. There's a flashback, and then there's uh, that scene in Infinity War. Right. That's yeah. it. Oh, you're talking they about have, you're talking about Vision and thing because I was talking about the kids. Yeah. Like, yeah, we don't kids. even know no, why Vision she... and Wanda have no before Wanda Vision. There is no context for their fucking relationship at all. Like there's there's a scene, there's two scenes that that don't give me well, shit. That don't show me that even though for yeah. those kids, those kids aren't even visions. They just no, they're, made they're, like, they're, they're made up. They're made up. Literally they're, they're, made out of nothing. They are figments of her imagination that she yeah. manifests, and she is now, now willing to kill absolute Everybody. universes to get yeah. them back and yeah. by the way not get them back this is kind of a spoiler but this it seems the way we're going is she's going to try and steal them off a different wanda so you exactly oh. so what would be interesting is if you bring in all the marvel bad guys and maybe try to save them instead of killing good guys to try to steal them. Oh, i don't like, know like no way home did <laughs> yeah you know yeah. saving people Doing what superheroes do. But no, Disney doesn't get... Because they fucking hate men so much. And they hate their customers so fucking much. And it's just... It, it, they're run by activists. They're, Let's kill as many white men as we possibly can. And then, of course, like, is, the black women will survive. Like, Monica Rambeau will survive the longest. Like, Reed Richards, one of the most powerful super... He's fucking rubber. He's very hard to kill. Very difficult to kill. And he's also smarter than everybody. Wanda... Yeah, great, powerful, powerful sorceress. Um, Reed Richards is much smarter than her. And she's gonna melt mm. him, buddy. She's gonna melt mm. him. She's he would have 
fucking thought about Snap that. Snap her out of existence. He would have thought about that. Ten times. His brain. Too, too bad. Too, yeah. Hey, hang on, Gary. Don't get ahead of yourself because we know in that universe that, you know, his wife is the leader of the Fantastic Four. We know Sue Storm is way better. Uh, than- Robert Ryburnett said there is a line that says oh. it's not sorcery. It's witchcraft. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. 